Enough games, Mysterio. This ends now. Do you really think you can stop me, Tin Can? What? War Machine. Oh my gosh. Can I get your autograph? Please, please. Kid, what are you doing here? This is a battlefield. No. What a foolish little girl. But I'm feeling generous today. You're not worth the effort. What have I done? I just wanted to meet him. I didn't mean to. I messed up, Tony. I messed up so bad. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Hold on, War Machine. I'm trying to fix this. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. What were you thinking, kid? You just cost me the fight of a lifetime. I... I'm sorry. I just wanted to meet you. I didn't know. You didn't know? You nearly got me killed out there. This isn't some game, Gwen. People's lives are on the line. And you're out here playing hero. I... I was just trying to help. Help! You're nothing but a liability. I don't need your help. I need you to stay out of the way. Please, War Machine. I didn't mean to. Why did I even try? I just wanted to help. Why did I think I could ever be a hero? Hey there, sad face. Need a ride? Or maybe a hug? I'm good at both. Or neither. I don't hug. What are you guys doing here? We were just cruising around spreading good vibes and bad puns. You looked like you could use a little of both. Or maybe just a distraction from that pity party you're throwing yourself. Here, have some chimichangas. They fix everything. Broken heart? Chimichanga. Stubbed toe? Chimichanga. World ending crisis? You guessed it. Chimichanga! You guys are ridiculous. Yeah, but we're also the best at what we do, which right now is making sure you don't turn into a walking disaster zone. Thanks, guys. I... I guess I needed this. That's the spirit. Now, let's get you out of these gloomy streets and into something a bit more... action-packed, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Inside that room, there's a surprise for you. Go try it on. What is it? Wow, the suit fits like a glove. Welcome to the Team Gwenpool. So, what exactly are we doing here? Training but not just any training. The kind that turns ordinary fangirls into extraordinary badasses. And where you'll probably get a few bruises. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. That's the spirit. The first step to becoming a hero is realizing you have no idea what you're doing. The second step is doing it anyway. What is that? This? My dear Gwen, is your initiation into the world of chaotic training. It's simple. Bounce, aim, and smash. Or 
In other words, try not to break your neck. You want me to bounce on that thing? Yep, trust me. By the time we're done, you'll be able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Or at least not fall flat on your face. There you go. Now, aim for that target over there and give it a good whack. Did I do it right? Nailed it. See? You're a natural. A little rough around the edges, but not bad for a rookie. This is actually kind of fun. All right, Gwenpool. Just like we practiced. In and out. Easy peasy. Detected. You will be eliminated. Sorry, but I've got a date with an ice cream machine. No time for surrendering. Surrender immediately. It's forbidden to enter Doom's castle. Come on, is that the best you've got? I face tougher minions in video games. Don't get past me. Right here, Metalhead. And that's why you don't mess with Gwenpool. <clears throat> there it is. The ultimate prize. Jackpot. This is going to make the best ice cream sundae ever. Hey. Time to leave my mark. Perfect. Now, let's blow this popsicle stand. I can't believe I just did that. Stealing an ice cream machine from Doom's castle? I must be crazy. I'm a hero now, making ice cream dreams come true. Too slow, Doom. Gwen, pull out. Okay, Gwen. Think, how do I get out of this mess? Maybe if I... No, too risky. What if I... No, that's even worse. Capture her alive. She will make a fine addition to my superhero prison. This is it. It's now or never. You're gonna have to try harder than that, Tin Can. Not good. Foolish girl. Did you really think you could escape Doom? Hey, Doom. Mind if I crash the party? Don't worry, Gwenny. Your knight in shiny red spandex is here. Deadpool? You came for me? Well, it was either that or let Doom turn you into a Gwen kebab. Not much of a choice, really. After them. Don't let them escape. Thanks. You really saved me back there. No problem. Just another day in the life of your surely neighborhood Deadpool. Now, how about we get you patched up and figure out how to stay out of Doom's clutches for good? What were you thinking, Gwenpool? A solo recon mission into Doom's territory. That was reckless and could have gotten you killed. Or worse. I thought I could handle it. I didn't want to bother anyone. This is a team effort. No one works alone, especially not against someone like Doom. Uh, just a reminder, I usually work alone. It's kind of my thing, you know? Lone Wolf, all that jazz. Not anymore. From now on, Gwenpool, you're paired with Deadpool. Wherever she goes, you go. 
Wait, what? No, this is a bad idea. Have you seen what happens when I team up with people? Remember that time with Wolverine? It ended with a lot of yelling, some broken bones, and a taco truck on fire. That sounds fun. I'm aware of your history, Wade, but this isn't up for debate. Gwenpool needs a partner, and you're the best one for the job. The best? Or the only option left? Yes. So, I guess we're partners now. You incompetent fools. You had one simple task. To capture Gwenpool and bring her to me. And yet, you allowed her to escape under the nose of that insufferable Deadpool. Lord Doom we, she was more resourceful than we anticipated. And Deadpool, he caught us off guard. Silence. You dare to make excuses for your failure? You dare to think that you are worthy of my mercy. Let this be a lesson to all of you. Failure is not tolerated in my domain. You serve at my command, and you exist only to fulfill my will. Lord Doom, please, we will not fail you again. We only wish to serve you. You will speak when spoken to, and not a moment before. Remember that the fate of your fallen comrade is what awaits any who dare to disappoint me. Okay, Lord Doom, I understand. Gwenpool may have escaped this time, but she will not evade Doom's grasp for long. The heroes will soon learn that defiance is a death sentence. I know it sounds crazy, but ever since Deadpool saved me, I... I don't know. I've started seeing him in a different light. Gwen, are you serious? Deadpool? The same Deadpool who once set off a grenade in his own apartment just to see what would happen. Yeah. I mean, I know he's unpredictable and totally out there, but there's something about him. He's funny, and he always seems to know exactly what to say. Okay, but have you thought this through? Deadpool's not exactly boyfriend material, you know. He's... Well, he's Deadpool. Trust me, I've thought about it. A lot. I know it's probably a bad idea, but I can't help how I feel. Well, I'm glad you told me. Just promise me you'll be careful, okay? I promise. Thanks for listening. I needed to get that off my chest. So what's your plan? Gonna write him a love letter? or just tackle him and confess. I have no idea. I'm still trying to figure out if this is all in my head or if I'm actually falling for him. You two don't look like you had a walk in the park. What happened? Doom's forces are stronger than we anticipated. The village was a trap. They were waiting for us. We barely made it out. There were too many of them and we didn't even get close to the portal. That's what I was afraid of. If Doom and Mysterio have fortified the area that heavily, they're planning something big. We're gonna need all the help we can get. We can't go back in there alone. We need more firepower, more heroes. Agreed, I've already put out the call. Reinforcements are on their way. We're pulling in everyone we can, Thor, Black Panther, Shuri, and more. We'll need to coordinate our attack carefully. Doom's forces were organized. They knew how to counter everything we threw at them. We'll hit them with everything we've got. This portal is the key to their plan. If we take it out, we can stop whatever they're trying to unleash on the island. Good. Let's make sure we send them a message they won't forget. All right, listen up. This is it, the final showdown. We're going to take the fight to Doom and Mysterio. Pilverine and Captain Jones will lead the charge to take out the portal. You ready for this? I've never been more ready. You're out of your depth here. We'll see about that. You've got spirit, but that won't save you. This isn't over. It is for now. She thought her telepathy would work, 
but I was faster, way faster. Took her down before she could even blink. That's incredible. Seriously, I don't think anyone else could have pulled that off. It's all about reading the opponent. She was predictable. You make it sound easy. Honestly, you're like the coolest Avenger. I'm sure there's some debate about that. Nope, no debate. You've got my vote. Coolest, huh? We'll see who's really cool. Anyway, it's just another day's work, right? Yeah, sure. Just another day for a total legend. Flattery will get you nowhere. Or maybe everywhere. Worth a shot. Time to take things up a notch. Uh, so, what do you think of the new gear? Impressive, but it still needs some fine tuning. I could show you a few tricks to optimize it. I'd like that. Maybe over dinner? You're just trying to steal my secrets. What's that? No idea, but let's see. <laughs> uh, well, that's unexpected. I, um, I think I should go. Yeah, sure, maybe we... Too easy. Remember, it's all about balance. Keep your center steady and don't overcompensate. Got it. This isn't my first flight. I know. But this baby's got some new upgrades. Just be careful out there. Let's get a drink first. Just a little extra kick. Something's wrong. Pull up! Pull up! My beautiful car, it's destroyed! Now that's what I call a crash landing. That was not supposed to happen. I'm so sorry. I just finished paying that off. Creepy place. I'm getting serious horror movie vibes. Stay alert. This area's known for traps. Let's shake things up. Not the sludge. Not the sludge. Get... get this stuff off me. Okay. Worst bath ever. That went exactly as planned. This ends now. Fancy meeting you here. Out for a midnight stroll? Enough games. Hey, it was all in good fun. No harm, no foul, right? You've had your fun, now it's time to stop. Come on, lighten up. You know, you've been a great sport about all this. You think I don't know how to deal with someone like you? What are you gonna do? I'm not here to fight, but if you push me, you won't like what happens next. Look, maybe we can, you know, call a truce? You're smarter than you look. What's this? Call it a peace offering. You've got spirit, I'll give you that. Annoying, but effective. So, you're not mad? Oh, I'm mad, but I respect your tenacity. You could use a little discipline, though. Not exactly my style, but thanks, I guess. Maybe you're not so bad after all, for a stickler anyway. And maybe you're not just a walking disaster, but that remains to be seen. Guess we're partners in crime now, huh? Don't push it. Fair enough. All right, just like a stealth mission, but cooler. It's 
Iron Spider. We need backup quick. He's too fast. Sleep tight, buddy. Stop right there, intruder. And that's a wrap. No, it can't be. Ben, what did they do to you? I bet he'll be back on the island soon. Might even be in the item shop. Wink, wink. Hey, you can't come in here. And they said parkour was just a phase. Stop. Put back the mask metal head. Thanks for the workout, guys. Hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. You actually did it. Impressive. I underestimated you. That suit, it makes you more formidable than I expected. Oh, you mean this old thing? Just a little upgrade. But I have to admit, it's growing on me. You've proven yourself today. Perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye. I'll keep that in mind. And, hey, if you ever need another favor, you know where to find me. Alright, just find the fishbowl and get this over with. Alright, Mysterio, you're coming with me. Oh no, a tiny gun. I'm shaking in my boots. Uh, what's next? A squirt gun. Hey, this is serious. I mean it. How's that for serious? Maybe stick to web-slinging, amateur. This is humiliating. I need better gear. I'm done being the joke here. All right, that's it. I've had enough of this. What happened to you? I got humiliated by a guy in a fishbowl helmet and his sidekick with a bucket of water balloons. I need better gear, bigger guns, something that screams, I mean, oh, buddy, the look on your face. A water balloon fight? Classic. Come on, Tony. You have to have something, anything. All right, all right. I've actually been working on something that might help you out. Check it out. It's in there. You think he's going to freak out? Oh, definitely. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at you. Spidey's all grown up. The suit's got enhanced armor, better mobility, and... A few surprises. Trust me, you're going to want to keep this one. I gotta admit, this feels pretty awesome. Give it up for the new and improved, less soggy Iron Spider? All right, let's see Mysterio laugh at this. So there I was, surrounded by a hundred Doombots, and I said, Bring it on, tin cans! Whoa, who's the new guy? And then I said, is that all you got? But they, hey, are you even listening? Hello, Earth to Gwenpool. Anybody home? Yeah, yeah, sounds awesome or whatever. Oh, great, the new shiny toy. Different. Yeah, yeah. Big whoop. So he's got fancy new legs. I've got... 
Well, I've got plenty of cool things. Maybe I should go, uh, check out his new suit. For research purposes. Oh, this is just fantastic. Well, if you can't beat him, make sure you still look cooler. Fancy seeing you up here. Enjoying the view? Yeah, just taking a break from all the action down there. It's nice to get some peace and quiet, you know? I've got to admit, the new look suits you. Literally. Thanks. Still getting used to it, though? Feels... different. Like I'm carrying a little extra weight. In a good way. You sure it's not just all those compliments weighing you down? I saw how everyone was looking at you back there. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I've always been the friendly neighborhood guy. This... This feels like something more. More than just a friendly neighborhood iron spider, huh? Sounds like someone's leveling up. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? Okay. That's definitely more than cool. That's... awesome. You know, you've got something special. Not just the suit, but you. Thanks, I think. Don't let it go to your head, okay? Hey, everybody! Watch the master at work. This is gonna get messy. Really? Not even a glance? Oh, great moves. Really impressive. Unbelievable. Hey, maybe you're just not her type today. Thanks, that helps. You know, you could just talk to her. Yeah, great. I'll just be... myself. It's quiet out here. Nice change from the chaos inside. Yeah, real peaceful. Something on your mind? It's just... I've been thinking about you. And, well, us. Oh, go on. I mean, you're just so different now. Ever since you got that new suit, there's this... confidence. It's kind of... you know? Charming? Don't get cocky. But... Yeah, something like that. What about your usual partner? I thought you two were pretty close. We were... are. But things are... different now. I just... I feel this spark with you. Something new. Exciting. And you're sure about this? I think so. I want to explore it. See where it goes. This is gonna blow up! Well... I can't say I'm not flattered, and maybe, just maybe, I feel the same. Really? Yeah, really. But we should be careful. Don't want to hurt anyone. I think we can handle it. Hey, you doing okay? No. Not really. I mean, did you see her up there? With him? Yeah, I saw. Look, maybe it's just... a phase? Oh, a phase. Sure. Just a little flirtation with Mr. Fancy Suit. No big deal. Maybe you could... talk to her? Tell her how you feel? Talk? When has talking ever worked for me? She doesn't want serious. She wants... whatever he is. You know she cares about you. Maybe she just needs some time to figure things out. And you? Whose side are you on, anyway? You seem awfully neutral for someone who's supposed to have my back. I'm not taking sides. I'm just... trying to help. Both of you. Feels like I'm losing her. And you're just... standing by. I'm here for you, okay? Just... give it some time. Maybe things will change. Yeah, right. Time like that ever fixed anything. You think that new suit makes you unbeatable? Think again! Pretty sure I'm holding back. 
Don't want to hurt your feelings. Show off. Just keeping things interesting. Don't want you getting bored. Great form, both of you. Really dynamic. Okay, I admit, you've got some moves. And don't you forget it. All right, maybe we should take a break. Don't want anyone getting hurt. Maybe next time I'll let you win. Oh, you did not just say that. This is fine. Sneaking out, huh? Thought you'd be spending time with your new best friend. Not this again. What's your problem? My problem? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's that you're ditching me for Mr. Webslinger. I'm just trying to be friends with everyone. Why are you making this such a big deal? Friends? Right. That's why you're always around him now. What happened to us, huh? Hey, hey. Let's all just take a breath, okay? No need to start a fight here. Stay out of this. You're supposed to be on my side. I'm not taking sides. Just trying to keep the peace. Nobody needs to take sides. This isn't a war. It's complicated. You know what? Do whatever you want. Clearly, I'm the last thing on your mind. That's not fair. You know it's not like that. That went well. So, what's this about? We need to talk about us. Right. The talk figures. Look, I've been thinking a lot, and I just, I don't want to lead you on. Lead me on? So, what? You've just decided to jump ship? It's not like that. It's just, things have changed. I've changed. And I need to be honest about how I feel. And how do you feel? I'm sorry. But I think, I think I'm falling for him. So that's it? After everything, you're just done with us? I'm so sorry. I didn't want it to end like this. But I have to follow my heart. Yeah, well, I hope he's worth it. Please. Don't hate me. Too late for that. You okay? No, but it had to be done. He'll come around. Just needs time. Come on, ladies. Cut me some slack, will ya? I told you, I already have a girlfriend. But we're just here for a little fun, PLV. Don't be such a scaredy cat. We promise it won't hurt much. Not the time for games, Emma. And stop calling me PLV. That's not even a name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Oh, come on. Not my McLaren. PLV, are you okay? Say something. Don't worry, we'll make it all better. All right, all right, enough with the kisses. I get it. Ah, oh, look at him go. He's so cute when he's flustered. You have to admit, he keeps things interesting. You two are crazy, but I gotta admit, you make life unpredictable. Finally, some peace. Those two are relentless, but they can't catch me up here. Hey, PLV, miss us? You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? All right, think, Peelverine. Think. They're faster. They're crazier. But maybe I can outsmart them. Let's see how you handle Mysterio's goons, ladies. Is he really leading us to Mysterio's base? This might get interesting. 
I love a good party. Let's crash it. Just a little closer. Come on. Hey, no fair. You can't just run away. Looks like the cat got away this time. But don't worry, PLV. We'll catch you later. Well, that was fun. What's next, Emma? Well, well, look who decided to drop in. You look like you've been through a war zone. Or a very intense obstacle course. What happened, Pilverine? You run into some trouble? Trouble? Trouble doesn't even begin to cover it. The girls on this island have gone completely nuts. Gwenpool and Emma Frost, they're chasing me like I'm the last piece of meat in a dog park, trying to kiss me to death. Oh man, Pilverine, getting chased by a couple of love-struck ladies? That's a new one, even for you. Girl troubles, huh? Didn't think you'd be the type to run from that. Hey, it's not funny! You try dodging rockets and laser beams while they're blowing kisses at you. I'm not asking for much, just a place to lay low until I can figure out a plan. All right, all right, you can stay. But just remember, this is a secret base. You better not lead anyone here, especially those two. Yeah, and make sure you don't touch anything you're not supposed to. Some of this tech is, let's just say, not exactly foolproof. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I just need to lay low until the chaos blows over. You got it. Just don't make yourself too comfortable. And try not to mess with the suits. They're not as forgiving as you think. Just gotta ride this out. It's all gonna be fine. Just keep my head down and stay out of sight. How long have I been down here? Feels like hours. Or days. I'm starting to lose track of time. All right. All right. I get it. You're hungry. We're all hungry. Looks like the coast is clear. And besides, Iron Man did say it's a secret base. No one knows where it is. I'll just sneak out real quick, grab a bite, and be back before anyone notices. Just a quick trip, in and out. No big deal. See? Nothing to worry about. It's all good. Almost there. Just gotta get some food and get back before. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of victory or a hot cheesy pizza. Worth every second of the risk. Look at him, all relaxed and happy. He totally thinks he's in the clear. He's not the sharpest claw in the bunch, is he? But this is perfect. We'll follow him right to his little hidey hole. Ooh, this is gonna be so much fun. Just like hide and seek, but with more explosions. Let's keep it low key for now. We don't wanna spook him before we find out where he's hiding. We need to be quiet and discreet. I'll just grab this slice to go, head back to the basement, and then I'm good. No more crazy chases for me today. He's leading us right to it. I knew this was gonna work. Patience, Gwenpool. Let's not mess this up. We're almost there. All right, finally, some peace and quiet. Just me, this delicious pizza. And mmm, now this is living. No crazy chases, no rockets, just food and... Oh no! Not again! Found you, PLV. You didn't really think you could hide from us, did you? I knew this was a bad idea. I knew it! All right, all right. Enough with the kisses. I'm sorry, okay? I'm out of here. See you soon, Pilby. We're not done yet. I just need a break. Just one moment of peace. Gotcha!
a POV. You're quite popular today, aren't you? Oh, come on! Not you two, too! Enough already! I can't take any more kisses. Is there no escape? No matter what I do, I can't get away. Better run faster, POV. We're not the only ones looking for you. So, Shuri, when are we finally going to hang out outside of training? You know, somewhere that doesn't involve me getting my butt kicked? Maybe when you can finally beat me in a sparring match. So never. Oh, come on. Really? Gwenpool, hey, what's up? We're done, Iron Spider. Finished! Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Just, just stay away. Wait, what? Gwen, what are you talking about? What just happened? I think you just got dumped and I didn't even get to see what you did. You know, Pilverine, I think we'd make an excellent team on the next mission. Your claws, my psychic powers, we'd be unstoppable. I don't doubt it, Emma. We could be the ultimate dynamic duo. Oh, so this is what you do now? Flirt with every hero in the base? Gwenpool, what are you talking about? I'm talking about you being a total player. First, Iron Spider, and now you. You're all the same. Just looking for the next hero to cozy up to. Whoa, hold on a second. I wasn't... Save it, Pilverine. Just stay away from me. Well, that was dramatic. What the heck was that all about? Wade, I'm so sorry. Gwen, what's going on? Why are you here? I've been acting crazy. I thought everyone was out to get me, but I see now. You're the only one who really cares about me. Hey, it's okay. I know things get complicated, but I'm always here for you, no matter what. I just, I want us to be together, Wade. I'm tired of all the drama. I want something real. I love you, Gwen. We can do this. We can have a life together. Get married, have a family, buy a big house. Whatever you want. I want that too. I want all of it. With you. So, does this mean I'm forgiven? I guess so. But you still owe me a real date. You got it. I'll make it the best date ever. I promise. You can't escape me, girl. You belong to me now. Help! Somebody, please! That doesn't sound good. We need to check it out. Let's go. You fools dare to challenge me? Very well. I will crush you both. Hey, Tin Can! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Or at least someone who can fight back. This isn't over, Deadpool. I will have my revenge. Thank you! Thank you for saving me! It's okay. You're safe now. What's your name? I'm... I'm Cuddlepool. Are you okay? Can you tell us what happened? I... I'm homeless. I have no family. I've been on my own for as long as I can remember. Dr. Doom, he found out I have powers like you, Deadpool. He wanted to use me for something. Something bad. Don't worry, kid. We're not gonna let anything happen to you. You can stay with us. We'll take care of you. You're not alone anymore. Really? You mean it? Absolutely. Welcome to the family, Cuddlepool. Thank you! Welcome to our humble abode, Cuddlepool. It's not much, but it's home. Over there is the kitchen, where the magic happens. By magic, I mean pizza. Lots of pizza. And this is the living room, our favorite spot for movie marathons and snack attacks. This is amazing! 
I've never had a place like this. We thought we'd start with a family dinner. What do you think? It's perfect. I, I've never felt like I had a real family before. Thank you so much. You're part of the team now, Cuddlepool. And we take care of our own. You guys are the best. It's nice having her around, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Feels like we're finally a family. You know, if we want to make this official, we could adopt her, become her real parents. I'd like that. But we'd have to get married first, right? Make it all official and stuff. Yeah, that's usually how it works. Gwenpool, will you marry me? You're going to have to do better than that, Wade. I want romance, a big proposal, and a wedding that's out of this world. Challenge accepted. I'll make it the most epic proposal ever. And the wedding. Oh, it'll be legendary. I believe you, Wade. I believe in us. Hey, Cuddlepool. Mind if we hit pause on the game for a second? What's up, Mom? Dad? Did I do something wrong? No, no, sweetie. Quite the opposite. We have some big news. We've been talking, and we've decided we're going to get married. Really? That's awesome! And after we get married, we're going to adopt you. Officially, you'll be our daughter, and we'll be your parents. For real. Oh my gosh, thank you! Thank you so much! I promise I'll be the best daughter ever! I don't know when I'm being hunted? Nice try. And yet, here I stand, undetected until now. You may be strong, but you're as predictable as a house cat. Predictable? Says the guy in the metal suit. What's the plan, Doom? Gonna bore me to death with speeches? I don't need speeches to break you, Meowskulls. I've been waiting for a fight. Come on, Doom. Stop dancing around like you're scared! Scared? No, I am simply... Amused. You still believe this is a contest of strength, but I've already won. That's the best you got? I'll break out of this in seconds! No, you won't. You see, the more you struggle, the weaker you become. You think this will stop me? You're just delaying the inevitable doom. I've taken down bigger foes than you! I doubt that. But don't worry. Once you're mine, you'll be something greater than any of them. Greater? You're out of your mind. You think I'm going to work for you? Work for me? No, no. You'll serve a higher purpose. A beast with your strength and my magic. You'll be unstoppable. You coward! Face me like a real warrior, not hiding behind your tricks. A real warrior knows when brute strength is not enough. It's time you learned that lesson, Meowskulls. To me. I'm preparing you for your true potential. Where am I? What's going on? Doom? I should have known! Ah, you're awake. Good. I was starting to wonder if you'd ever regain consciousness. What did you do to me? Why can't I feel my strength? Oh, I took it. You see, while you slept like the helpless kitten you are, I drained your power. All of it. You really think you can control me? After all I've been through? Good luck with that, Doom. Control? No, Meowskulls. I won't need to control you. I'll remake you, reshape you into something unstoppable. Something that will serve only me. I'm not your... your puppet! I don't take orders from anyone! You will, soon enough. Your strength, your rage, they'll serve me. And you'll tear through anyone who stands in my way. Pilverine, Deadpool, even Wolverine. You'll crush them all. No! I won't be your monster! Oh, but you will. You'll be more than a monster. You'll be Meowtooth. What? 
is your command? Find the heroes, destroy them. Begin with Gwenpool and Pilverine. Make them suffer. It will be done. Finally, some peace and... Wait, what was that? Whoa, whoa, big kitty. What's your problem? You, Dr. Doom sends his regards. You're cute, but I don't go down without a fight. Is that the best you've got? You're just delaying the inevitable. Okay, plan B. Think fast, Gwen. You can't run forever. Yeah, how about this? Who says you can't make a grand exit with style? Well, well, if it isn't Fluffy McGrawl, what brings you to my humble abode? Fancy some pizza? over. You're next. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Garfield. Let's talk about this. Oh, we're doing this, huh? You know, I've taken on Sabretooth before, and you're just his knockoff. Ready to dance, kitty? Doom says you're too dangerous to live. Guess I'll do the world a favor. You really need to chill, man. Can't we just bond over pizza and bad movies? Too slow, kitty cat. You need more cardio. Ever heard of Zumba? Running away again, coward! Ugh, you again? What, did Doom put a bounty on my head? Not just a bounty. You're the last piece in Doom's plan. And I'm here to collect. Over my dead body. You always thought you were the tough one, huh? But I've got the upgrade. Stronger, faster. Thanks to Doom. Doom's turned you into his pet. You're not tougher, you're just his pawn. Come on, I thought you had some fight in you. Enough, bring him to me now. That's it? I expected more from you. you alive. For now. This isn't over. Ah, Peel Vereen. How kind of you to join me. I wasn't exactly invited. Yet here you are. And you've caused quite the stir on my island. You won't win this, Doom. Whatever you've got planned, it won't work. Oh, but I already have one. You see, I've turned one of your closest allies into my most loyal enforcer. You mean Meow? He's not my ally. He's just a twisted version of what you want him to be. Enough. What the? Consider this a temporary inconvenience. You won't be causing any more trouble at that size. You can't do this! You think this'll stop me? Now, it's time to finish what I started. This isn't over, Doom! Oh, but it is. For you. All right, Doom. You've got Pilverine. I'm getting him back. No big deal. Just infiltrate a supervillain's lair and kiss a plushie. Ah, the mighty Pilverine reduced to a stuffed toy. How poetic. What was it you always said? I'll never be controlled, and yet, here you are, adorning my back like a child's plaything. How does it feel, Pilverine? Powerless for the first time in your life. I wonder how long it'll be before your precious Gwenpool comes for you. Sorry, bud. I'll get you out of there. Somehow. Okay, sneaky time's over. Showtime. 
All right, buddy, hang tight. Well, tighter, I guess. What the? Welcome back, tough guy. Did you really think you could just walk in here and undo my magic? You think we lost them? Not even close! Incoming! This one's mine! Be my guest, but uh, don't get yourself killed. This guy? He's stronger than I remember. Come on, furry. Don't make me kiss him too. Anytime you want to jump in here, All right, but next time you're buying the pizza. Stay down, Furball. Don't make me break a nail over this. Like I'd let you handle this alone. Okay, just need the right moment. And bam, Kitty gets a kiss. And that's how you tame the beast. Did it work? Well, he's not ripping us apart yet. Come on, big guy. I know there's a soft kitty in there somewhere. You think it's working? It has to. No. I must obey Doom. You don't have to obey him. You can be free. Just let go. I don't like this. One wrong move and... Trust me. I don't want to hurt anyone. Then don't. You think you can undo my magic with a kiss? I'll wait. You're gonna regret messing with my friends. Friends. She's only alive because I allow it. Finish her, Meowtooth. Obey. I-I don't... want to. You have no choice. Fight it, Furball! You're stronger than him! Help me! Obey me, Meowtooth. Or face the consequences. I'm done with you! You will regret this betrayal. you did did we win yet you did it you brought him back told you i've got the magic touch you sure you're okay that blast hit you hard <coughs> just need to get back on my feet nice work furball couldn't have done it without you two So, what's next? Should we... Never thought it would end like this. Not for her. She... deserved more than this. We should have been faster. Should have seen it coming. You guys are seriously doing this without me? You're... You're alive? Well, yeah. I mean, you didn't really think I was gone for good, did you? Come on, give me some credit. So we did all this... for nothing? A little overdramatic, don't you think? I mean, a funeral? I've only been gone for what, a day? You... You could have told us. Where's the fun in that? Besides, I knew you guys would miss me. Just didn't think it'd be this much. Next time, try not to die. It's a little... exhausting. Oh, you do care. Glad you're back, kid. Don't scare us like that again. No promises. We're going to have to fill that grave back in, aren't we? Or we could just leave it there. You never know when someone might need it. Here we 
are. Home sweet, sell. Uh, this place doesn't scream cozy. That's because it's not. Welcome to your brand new, freshly furnished e-prison cell. You're really selling it. Come on, it's not so bad. You've got a pillow, right? And a toilet. Fancy. You'll get used to it. Maybe. Don't worry, big guy. I'll bring snacks. Food must have more. Hey, what in the name of arc reactors are you doing? Uh, midnight snack? Midnight snack? You just ate a week's worth of food. This isn't a buffet. Oops! I leave you alone for five minutes. Seriously? Five minutes? He's eaten enough to fuel a team of Avengers. It's not my fault. I was sleepwalking. Okay, okay. Look, it's just a bit of a mess, right? I'll make sure he cleans it up. Clean up? This is beyond cleaning. He's out of here. Wait, what? You're kicking me out? You bet I am, and don't even think about sneaking back in for another midnight feast. Guess we'll find another place for you to crash, big guy. So, this is the new famous man cave? Gotta say, not bad for a merc with a mouth. Yeah, well, it's got everything I need. Weapons, snacks, pictures of me. Wow, you must be your own biggest fan. I mean, wouldn't you be if you looked this good? Good point, but you know what would make this place even better? A taco machine? An endless supply of chimichangas? Oh, a second me? Nope, meow tooth. As in, the giant cat moving in? Here? With me? You're kidding, right? This place barely fits all of my... Well, my awesome stuff. And now you want to add a wrecking ball with claws? Come on, he's harmless. He just needs a place to crash. And... I thought you'd love the company. Company, sure. But not a walking disaster. It'll be fine. He can bunk with you, right? You're not serious. This is going to end terribly. What's the worst that could happen? Easy on the fridge, big guy. It's the only thing standing between me and a lifetime of eating out. Relax, he's not that clumsy. Oh yeah, totally harmless. Next, he'll be fixing the plumbing, right? Give him a break. He's still adjusting. Adjusting? Adjusting to what? Destroying everything I own? Okay. That might be a little... problematic. That's it. Everyone out of the kitchen before the whole house explodes. This is a disaster. I knew this was going to be a disaster. Oh, come on. It's just a little mess. Nothing you can't handle, right? A little mess? My house looks like it just went through an action movie shootout. Maybe I'll just patch this up. What did you do? I think... You made it worse. Well, that went well. I'm living in a cartoon. You think this is funny? Oh, come on. 
it's not like it's the first time your house blew up. That's not the point. You brought him here. You think I asked for this? I was trying to help. Seriously, you two? This is what we're doing now? You've been a diva since I moved in. And you've turned my life into a circus. You guys are literally children. You know what? I'm done. You want round two? Fine, let's dance. You're on. But don't cry when you lose. You always shoot like that, or are you trying to miss? Oh, I'm just warming up. Are you too insane? You brought this on yourself, pal. See? Told you I'd win. You two are unbelievable. You're lucky there's anything left of this garage? You might have a point. Yeah, maybe we went a little overboard. Well, that was a disaster. Honestly, I thought it went better than expected. My house is gone, again. This is becoming a habit. Oh, come on. A little chaos never hurt anyone. All right, cat boy, you get a pass this time. Glad you've come to your senses. You know, living together might not have been the brightest idea. Yeah, but at least we survived. Look at you, so weak. You think you can stop me? We're the same, you know. All it took was a little nudge, and here I am, free. No, no, you're wrong. This isn't me. I'm not, I'm not like this. Oh, come on. You've always been a little reckless, but now, now we're unstoppable. All those limits you put on yourself, gone. I won't let you control me. I can fight this. Fight this? You can barely keep standing. Face it, I'm in charge now. And you're just fading away. This, this isn't real. You have served me well so far, my pet. But your true test begins now. The fool Deadpool and his daughter, they believe they're safe, hidden away like rats in a hole. But they will learn. No one is beyond my reach. You will hunt them down, find their hiding place, and bring them to me. Deadpool and Cuddlepool, his precious little spawn, will become my slaves. Yes, master. Go now. Bring me Deadpool, or their blood will be on your hands. Yes, master. The game is set. Let the hunt begin. All right, kiddo, listen up. We're safe here. Nobody knows this place even exists. Not Doom, not Gwen, not even that crazy guy who sells tacos at the market. Are you sure, Daddy? You always say that before things explode. Okay, valid point. But this time, I've got a feeling we're... We've got a problem. Just straight to panic mode? Gwen's coming. She's under Doom's control. We need to leave now. Wait, Gwen? My Gwen? The same Gwen who thought laser tag was an actual way to settle arguments? Yeah, that Gwen. And she's coming for you and Cuddlepool. She wouldn't hurt us. She's just going through a phase, right? This isn't a phase. Doom's got her under a spell. She's not herself, Wade. We don't have time to mess around. If we don't move now, She'll find you, and it won't end well. All right, we'll make a run for it. But are you sure Gwen's gone? What is the plan? We head east. Stay off the roads. I'll cover your backs, but don't slow down. She's closer than you think. This is going to be one of those really long days, isn't it? You mean like all of them? Fair point. think this place looks like a villain hideout? Or is it just me? Totally villainy. Needs more skeletons, though. Yeah, a couple of cobwebs wouldn't hurt either. Sets the mood, you know? Uh, 
There she is. My Gwen. Not exactly herself, but still rocking the pink. Hey, G! Look, I know you're probably mad, maybe a little spell crazy right now, but it's me! Wade! Your lovable, unkillable partner in crime! Mission. Capture Deadpool and Cuddlepool. Return to Doom. No deviations. Wow. Okay. That's new. Usually we banter a bit before the stabbing starts. Daddy! Something's wrong with her! Yeah, kiddo. I noticed. Come on, G. I know you're in there. This isn't you. You love blowing things up with me, not, you know, killing me. This ends now. You're in the way. Daddy! We can't let them hurt each other. I know, but we're out of options. Fight it, Gwen. You're stronger than this. No! Don't give in, G. You're not a puppet. Wade, help me. She's still in there, but we're running out of time. We're gonna fix this, G. I swear. I... I don't want to hurt anyone. Then fight! Fight like you always do! No! No! I can't! We're not letting Doom win! Not today! Gwen! This is insane, even for you. Come on, don't make me use these. This isn't you, Gwen. Fight it. It's, it's too strong. I can't. You can. You've beaten worse than this. Doom's got nothing on you. I'm sorry. You dare defy me. After all I've given you, Gwen. You belong to Doom. There is no escape from my will. Not this time, Doom. I won't be your puppet anymore. Impossible. You're not as strong as you think. Very well. If you will not come to me willingly, then I shall intervene myself. with the look. We made it. Doom's not following us. Yeah, but something feels off. What's going on? We've come this far, but it's not over. Doom, he's still out there, and he won't stop until he gets what he wants. So we keep fighting. That's what we do, right? The three of us together. No, not this time. What are you talking about? I have to end this, for real. Doom won't stop unless I make sure he can't follow you guys. You both have to go, and I have to stay. Stay? Stay where? We're not leaving you behind, Gwen. What are you planning? I'll keep him distracted. Make sure he can't chase you. No, Gwen, don't. Gwen! No, we can't leave her, we can't just she made her choice. She saved us. She's gone. Wade, she saved us all. Who are you? Who do you think? I'm everything you've ever repressed. Your chaos, your wildness, and your freedom. This can't be happening. It's happening, sweetheart. And now it's time to have some fun. What do you want from me? Oh, nothing much. Just to wreak havoc. You know, the usual. This is going to be a problem.
Come on in. The door is unlocked and the chimichangas are in the microwave. Oh, cool. You're alive. Those respawns are handy. What's the plan tonight? More breaking the fourth wall? Some sword play? Or something more fun? Actually, I was thinking, why don't we switch things up a little? So, switch? What do you mean, switch? You know, you and me, we swap things around for a day. You can go do your crazy Deadpool stuff and I'll handle things in my own way. You're talking my language. Chaos, mayhem. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, I'm in, let's do it. Good, just trust me. I'll take care of everything. This is gonna be awesome. I knew I liked you for a reason. You won't know what hit you. So, here we are, huh? You, me, and the knight. Yeah, here we are. You feeling okay, Gwen? You seem a bit... off. Off? Me? No way, I'm just soaking in the, uh, view. Okay, sure. You're usually way more, I don't know, enthusiastic about these things. What's up? Deadpool not around? Oh, yeah. No. He's busy doing Deadpool things. You know how he is. So, uh, it's just us tonight. Cool, cool. So, what are we doing? Fighting crime? Cracking jokes? Or are you here to drop some kind of crazy plan on me like usual? I, uh, didn't really have a plan. Just figured we'd hang out. Maybe talk about feelings. Feelings? Uh, okay. That's, uh, unexpected. So, what's your favorite pizza topping? Okay, now I'm really confused. Are you pranking me or something? Yeah, I guess this isn't my usual thing. I'm just trying something new. Well, whatever it is, I'm here for it. Let's roll with it, I guess. There you are, babe. You've been sneaky today. What are you up to? Plotting to steal my heart again? Oh, just tinkering with some fun toys. You know, typical me stuff. I don't know. Something feels off. You don't seem like your usual chaotic good with a splash of madness self today. Maybe I'm just evolving, growing more, tactical. You should appreciate that. Wait a sec. What are you doing with Stark stuff? Don't worry about it, Wade. You wouldn't understand. You're not Gwen, are you? Not my Gwen. Took you long enough. It was fun, but I've got bigger plans now. What the hell are you up to? Where's the real Gwen? Let's just say, she's tied up in something far more exciting. And me, I've got work to do. Nope, this is not happening. You've got one chance to tell me where she is, or I'm gonna slice that smug look off your face. Oh, Wade, you're too late. The real fun is just getting started. I've been dating the wrong Gwen this whole time? This is worse than that time I accidentally married a scroll. I gotta find her. Fast. You think you can just take my life, manipulate everyone around me, and get away with it? I didn't just take it. I made it better. Admit it, sis. You've always wanted to be more... like me. You're wrong. I'm not like you. I don't hurt the people I care about. Oh, come on, you've got it in you. We're the same person after all. You're just too scared to unleash your full potential. We may share the same face, but we are nothing alike. You really think you can beat me? I know every trick you got. But I've got something you don't. Oh yeah? What's that? A winning personality? A conscience. You think that makes you better than me? We're both killers. I fight to protect the people I love. You fight just to watch the world burn. And what's so wrong with that? It's over. You can't kill me. You don't have the guts. You're right. I won't kill you, but I'll stop you.
Lucky shot. This is your last chance. Walk away, or I'll send you flying out of here. You're gonna regret that. You should have listened. You're not the real me. You never were. You really don't know when to quit, do you? You think you're the hero? We're the same. You'll end up just like me. We're not the same. You let Doom control you. I won't make that mistake. No, no, you wouldn't. It's over. You're going somewhere far, far away. Well, that's one way to take out the trash. So, rocket boots, huh? Bold move. Not gonna lie, kinda jealous. Yeah, well, they're not as comfortable as they look. You know, switching sisters wasn't exactly the fun I thought it'd be. Yeah, well, having an evil twin isn't exactly a dream come true either. You did good, kid. You took care of business. She was still part of me, you know? It feels weird, like I'm not whole anymore. You're still you. Maybe a little less evil, but that's a good thing. Guess these belong to Tony now. Nah, keep them. Tony owes me for something. I'll think of a good excuse later. Thanks, Wade, for sticking by me. Eh, what can I say? I'm a sucker for a happy ending. Whoa, check out those moves. Nice one. Oh, I wish I was cool enough to do TikTok dances. Uh-oh. Okay, really, just a little bump on a hundred foot drop. Oh, and sorry about your new Lambo. Peely, you're out of commission for this mission. We need someone else. Guess I won't be driving for a while. Gwenpool, you're up. We go in, secure the flight kit, and get out before they even know what hit them. Wow, he's so... shiny. Something to add, Gwen. Uh, no. I mean, yes. Uh, what's the plan again? Just stay close and keep an eye out. We're up against Doom's goons. It's gonna be risky. Right. Got it. I'm totally in. I mean, ready. Totally ready. Good, let's do this. You'll make a great stand-in for Peely. Try not to crash anything. Don't faint, don't faint, don't faint. All right, team, move out. Stay cool, Gwen. You can do this. You're not a total dork. Right? There's the chest. The flight kit should be inside. I'll take point. You cover me from here, okay? Right. Cover you. Got it. He's like a shooting star. Right, covering. Haha, uh -huh. take that, bad guys. Nice enthusiasm, but try aiming a little lower next time. Right, sorry, just trying to keep you on your toes. Don't worry, I'm good. Focus, Gwen, focus. It's just a mission with the coolest, most amazing, most... Ha, huh. did you see that, Iron Man? There they are, mission accomplished. Uh, thanks? You did great, too. Nice work. He said I did great. Come on, let's get out of here before they send reinforcements. Looking good, boss man. Just good? I was hoping for incredible. Oh, definitely incredible. Super mega, mind-blowingly incredible. You dare trespass. 
Doom, didn't expect to see you here. You should know by now, Star. Doom is everywhere. Back off, Tin Man. We've got what we came for. Ah, uh, the annoying one. Doom does not have time for your childish games. Leave her alone, Doom. Your fight is with me. You'll pay for this humiliation, Stark. You... you did it. You beat him. Just another day at the office. That was so awesome. You just blasted him like, boom. And then he was all like, gah. And you were like, take that, Doom. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that dramatic. No, really. It was epic. You're like the coolest, bravest, smartest guy ever. Well, thanks. I guess saving the day is all in a day's work. So, Mr. Daysaver, do you ever take a break? You know, relax, unwind, maybe go on a date? A date? Yeah, you know, like dinner, maybe some stargazing in the suit. Just you, me, and the stars? I, uh, I don't think that's... Sir, it appears Miss Poole's advances may be more than casual admiration. Gwen, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I'm your boss. And, uh, there's kind of an age gap here. Oh, come on. You're not that old. Besides, age is just a number when you're as amazing as you are. It's just, it wouldn't be appropriate. You know, professional boundaries and all that. Well, thanks. It was all worth it just to see you in action. Are you sure this is a good idea? She sounded really upset, man. I know, but we have to make this right. We can't just leave her like this. Gwen, it's me, Tony. Can we talk? What do you want? I'm not in the mood for company. Look, I'm really sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to hurt you. Can we just talk for a second? You have 10 seconds. Gwen, I'm sorry. I didn't handle things well back there. You're important to the team, and we don't want to lose you. You're more than just a teammate. You're a friend. Leave me alone. Whoa, hey, let's not do this. Hey, we're not here to fight. I don't want your stupid apology. You think flowers are going to fix everything? Gwen, please, I'm just trying to... No! I trusted you, and you made me look like an idiot. Hey, hey, hey! Let's all just take a deep breath here. You know what? I don't care anymore. You guys can go find another girl to mess with. I'm such an idiot! Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why did I even think? Hey, isn't that the lovesick Avenger? What happened, sweetheart? Iron Man ditch you for a real hero? Laugh at this, jerks. Never mess with a girl on a bad day. Well, if it isn't the runaway bride, didn't think we'd see you so soon. Got tired of chasing Tony around, huh? Ha, huh, ha, huh. very funny, guys. Uh, Gwen, what are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guess I got tired of your teasing. What just happened? I think we hit a nerve. Hope, Hope, open up! Hey, hey, it's okay. What happened? It's just Tony, and then they all laughed. And I, I just, so he turned you down and now the whole team is making fun of you? Well, we can't let that slide, can we? No one humiliates my friend and gets away with it. What do you mean? I mean, we're going to hit him where it hurts. Sabotage, embarrassment, whatever it takes. You with me? 
Yeah, let's do it. Good. I have a few ideas. But first, let's take down that tin can's ego a notch. Do a night off in good company. Remember, keep it smooth, like you've been a waitress your whole life. You mean, don't spill the plan all over the place? Your drink is here, sir. Hmm, tastes a little different. What is this? Oh, just a special blend for our VIP guests tonight, sir. Enjoy. Special treatment, huh? You must really be someone important. Well, I don't like to brag, but... Excuse me for a moment. What just happened? Operation Make Tony Squirm is a success. You know what, Tony? I think I'm done. Enjoy your special blend. Wait, it's not... I didn't... That was perfect. I'd say he's had enough fun for one night. Oh no, you two done this. On to the next one. It's even shinier up close. Too bad it's gotta go. Yeah, he won't miss it. Much. Let me check this thing out first. Stand back. What's that? Remote override. Stark's good, but he's not the only one who can hack. It's been an honor, shiny suit. You served him well, but your time has come. Make it dramatic now. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Iron Man's final meltdown. Oh man, I wish I had a camera for Tony's face when he sees this. All right, let's get out of here before the alarms go off. Whoa, Tony, what's got your circuits in a twist? Oof, that's rough, buddy. Looks like someone didn't get the handle with care memo. Look at this, they just waltzed in and stole it like it was a pair of sneakers. You know, if I had known stealing suits was that easy, I'd have a whole closet by now. They destroyed it, Wade, flattened it like a pancake, and for what? What did I even do? Well, maybe breaking a girl's heart, humiliating her in front of everyone, and then brushing it off wasn't the best move? Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Big time, Tony. And now you're paying the price, one squished suit at a time. So, what are you gonna do about it? Apologize, or wait for her to flatten your ego next? I need to make this right, all of it, and maybe hide the rest of my suits, just in case. Good luck, lover boy. You're gonna need it. Come on, Tony, you face Thanos. How hard can this be? Well, if it isn't Mr. Heartbreaker himself, what do you want? I, uh, came to apologize. Oh, look, it's Mr. Suit, here to tell me how bad I am at stealing his toys. 
Gwen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was just trying to, I don't know, be professional or something. So you thought a bunch of flowers and a half-baked apology would make up for crushing my heart and making me look like an idiot in front of everyone? Yeah, pretty much. I know I messed up and I know I can't undo it. But I want to make things right. You're more than just a teammate. You're a friend. Hmm. I guess it's a start. But you're not off the hook yet, Stark. I'll take whatever chance I can get. Just, uh, try not to destroy any more of my suits, okay? No promises. But I guess I can let you off easy this time. Besides, I think you've been punished enough. So, friends? Friends. But if you mess up again, I'll do more than flatten a suit. Got it? Got it. Are you sure this is the right place? Because I'd hate to break into the wrong evil lair tonight. Trust me, I'm an expert in breaking into the right wrong places. And besides, Doom's the type to have an evil lair with his name on it. Nice work, Agent Chaos. I think you missed your calling as a tech support guy. Please, I'd get fired on the first day. No one appreciates a good grenade joke at the office. You know, for a supervillain, Doom's security is kinda lacking. I expected more lasers, maybe a few robot guards. Bingo! Maybe they're on their coffee break. For you, milady. Where do you even keep those? Do you have a secret pocket dimension just for romance cliches? A good merc never reveals his secrets. Besides, every action hero needs a bit of romance. You know, if this was a movie, this would be the part where we kiss under the city lights. You know, you make this crazy life a lot more bearable. Back at you, Wade. So, when this mission is over, how about we skip the next apocalyptic event and take a vacation? Maybe somewhere without supervillains, like a deserted island. Or Iowa. I don't know. Iowa sounds dangerous. I heard they have cornfields as far as the eye can see. Terrifying. Oh my gosh, Gwen. Wade, what a coincidence. I had no idea you two would be here. Uh, hey there. What brings you to this fine establishment? Oh, you know, just out and about. And now I get to hang out with my favorite couple. So Wade, tell me about your latest mission. Is it true you took down an entire squad of Doom's bots single-handedly? That sounds so intense. Uh, yeah. It was just a typical Tuesday for me. Nothing too crazy. Hey, sis. We were kind of in the middle of something. You know, like, a date? Oh, I won't be long. I just wanted to catch up. You two must have such amazing stories. Like, what's the craziest thing you've ever done on a mission together? Well, there was that one time we had to infiltrate Doom's castle using only a rubber chicken and a roll of duct tape. No way. I have to hear all about that. Yeah, it's a great story, but, uh, maybe another time? Wade and I were actually just discussing dessert plans. So, Wade, what's your take on hero fashion? I mean, you've got the whole red and black thing down, but have you ever considered a cape? No capes. I learned that lesson from The Incredibles. This was not how I imagined our date night going. Ah, nothing like a good workout to keep the old murder factory in shape. Maybe I'll treat myself to some chimichangas later, or 12. Oh, Deadpool. I didn't expect to see you here. I was just, uh, passing by. You know, looking for some, uh, coffee. Yeah, coffee. Coffee in the gym? Well, you won't find any here unless Tony's upgraded the vending machines again. I've been asking for a chimichanga machine for years. Yeah, um, I just thought I'd check. You never know, right? So, what brings you here? You bet. Gotta keep these guns ready for action. Yeah, I've noticed you're always in such great shape. It's really impressive. 
So I've been meaning to tell you something. Let me guess. You want to join the Deadpool fitness program? I warn you, it involves a lot of dodging bullets and eating questionable food. No, it's just... I wanted to say that. You're really... Never mind, it's nothing. I should go. Uh, okay. See you, I guess? What was that about? No idea. She was talking about coffee and then just bolted. People are weird. You really have no clue, do you? Clueless is my middle name. Actually, it's Wade Wilson, but you get the point. Come on, let's get out of here before she comes back for round two. Ah, just me, myself, and I, and the voices in my head. Hey, you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. Or worse, a tax auditor. Wade, I... I need to talk to you. It's important. Hey, what's up? You're shaking like a leaf. Is something wrong? I'm in love with you, Wade. What? What? Wait, what? No, 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 this can't be happening. You... What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Red flag. Personal space. Please, Wade. Just listen to me. I know you like me too. I've seen the way you look at me. We could be so good together. I love Gwen, and I won't betray her. What you're doing is wrong. I can't... No, I won't be with you. No, please, Wade. Don't tell her. She'll hate me. She'll never forgive me. I have to. I'm sorry. But I can't keep this from her. I won't lie to her. Wade. Please. You can't tell her. You can't ruin everything. I don't have a choice. I can't let him tell her. I can't... Wade, wait. What the... I... I didn't mean to. I just... I couldn't let you tell her. I'm so sorry. Well, this sucks. Gotta... Get to Gwen. Gotta tell her. I'm back. I brought your favorite chimichangas. Wade? Oh my gosh. It's Wade lying on the floor. He's not moving. No, 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 no. Wade, wake up. Please, wake up. This isn't funny. Come on. You can't... You can't do this to me. I can't lose you, Wade. You're all I have. Please, Wade. I love you. Don't leave me. Please. You ever get the feeling that all the good action is happening somewhere else? Yep. It's been too quiet around here. Not even a rogue llama in sight. A little help over here? Really? This is what we're doing now? Tire repair? Gotta stay sharp somehow. I think I got it. You blew up my car. We better chill. Help! My cat's stuck up there. He won't come down. Seriously? First a tire, now this? Guess we're the heroes of inconveniences today. Wow, look at you go. True heroism at work. Don't act like you're not impressed. Thanks, dudes. You're the best. Thank you. You guys are amazing. I can't believe this is what we've come to.
Easy does it. Just got to get to the couch, watch some TV, and pretend I didn't waste a whole day on cat rescues. And where have you been? Uh, honey, I didn't see you there. You know, just, uh, helping around the island, doing superhero stuff. Superhero stuff? Like helping cats out of trees and changing tires? Hey, every little bit counts, right? I mean, the world isn't exactly in constant peril. A tire change here, a cat rescue there. I'm keeping the streets safe. You're keeping yourself occupied while I'm stuck at home. Again. Well, I just thought, you know, maybe you could use a break. I've got it covered. The island's not going anywhere. A break? Oh, really? You think I need a break from handling everything while you play the hero with Frozone? Man, he's in deep this time. Wait, wait. Come on, Helen. It's not like I'm out partying. I'm out there doing good stuff. You know, little things. Little things? You're running around like you're the only hero on this island while I'm stuck dealing with everything else. It's my turn, Bob. Your turn for what? Grounding me? Exactly. Ground me? Helen, I'm too old to be grounded. You're grounded until further notice. And don't think about sneaking out with Frozone either. Man, she really runs this household. Psst. Hey, big guy over here. Frozone, what are you doing? I'm grounded. Come on, man. One last mission. Doom's got this medallion. We get in, get out, and it'll be like we were never gone. I don't know. Helen's got super hearing. If she finds out, I'm toast. You're really gonna let that stop you? Think about it. A medallion from Doom's Fortress. We'd be heroes. One more job, then you're done. But if Helen finds out, it's on you. Deal, let's go. See? I told you. Easy peasy. We're like ghosts in here. Yeah, but this feels too easy. Something's not right. Ah, the infamous Mr. Incredible and his sidekick. Did you really think you could sneak into Doomstat unnoticed? Why is it always the laughing villains? not afraid of you, Doom. Great plan, Bob. Really genius stuff. It's not good. You've walked right into my trap. Now you'll spend the rest of your lives as my prisoners. Yeah, yeah. I did not see this coming. Helen, we've got a situation. It's about Bob and Frozone. What did they do this time? They've been captured, Dr. Doom's fortress. It's bad, Helen. They're trapped in one of his high-security cells. How long have they been there? A few hours now. I'm prepping a team to head over there, but... Don't bother. I'll handle it. Next time, maybe we don't break into the lair of a supervillain. You think? You boys ready to go? Hey, honey. Didn't think you'd have to bail us out. Helen, I can explain. You too, Bob. Yep, I'm in trouble. You fools think you can escape my fortress. No one defies doom and lives to tell the tale. He really likes to hear himself talk, huh? Yeah. And you'd think with all that tech, he'd have a better sense of timing. Stop them, you useless minions. Or I'll see to it you face the full wrath of Doom. You'll pay for this humiliation. Mark my words, you won't escape Doom's vengeance. 
I'm not impressed by threats. You know, that could have gone worse. We're not even home yet. Don't push your luck. So, about sneaking out. Maybe next time we leave a note? There won't be a next time. Man, I swear. Retirement sounded way cooler before we actually did it. Sitting around doing nothing? Not what I signed up for. You're telling me. I thought I'd enjoy kicking back, but every day feels the same. Lawn mowing, fixing the sink, pretending not to hear the kids arguing. Remember that one time with the bank heist? You threw that car like it was a toy. Now look at us. We're out here like two dads waiting for the grill to heat up. Yeah, and back then I didn't pull my back doing it. Attention all units. Robbery in progress. Armed suspects, corner of 8th and Main. Backup requested immediately. Well, well. Looks like the universe just sent us an invitation. Invitation accepted. You know Helen's gonna kill you if she finds out, right? You kidding? She's probably tracking me already. But we're doing this. One more mission. For old time's sake. Just like the good old days. Let's show them the old dog still got some bite. I don't know, man. You sure this is the right spot? Feels like a ghost town. This is it. Keep your guard up. Criminals aren't always... Looks like you boys are late to the party. That tickles. Really, man. Guns. That's the best you've got? What the heck are you two? Out of my way, musclehead. Gotta get a better getaway car, pal. Chill out, man. The cops will be here soon enough. All right, big guy. We should bounce. Don't want to explain to the cops why we're out here playing hero again. Right. Let's move. Gotta admit, feels pretty good, huh? Like riding a bike. Well, well. What do we have here? A walking crime scene? Or should I say, a frozen one? Looks like someone got a little too chilly with his heist, huh? What happened, Frosty? Got on the wrong side of a snowman? It wasn't a snowman, you idiots! It was two freak superheroes! They came out of nowhere! Superheroes? Huh? Must have been a real cold reception. And here I thought it was just another ordinary bank job. Guess you ran into some bad luck, eh? Come on! Thaw me out already! I'm freezing here! What's the rush? I mean, you're not going anywhere for a while. So, let me get this straight. You got iced by a couple of heroes, and now you want us to just warm you up? Let you go on your merry way. Please, I can't feel my legs. Just help me out already. Maybe next time, don't steal from a bank with superheroes in the city. You might have stood a chance against someone else. But now, you're just ice in the cooler, pal. Please, don't leave me like this. Enjoy the cold, pal. The boys at the station will thaw you out. Eventually. And where have you been? Babe, hey, I didn't see you there. Uh, didn't think you'd still be up. I was asleep, 
until I heard you sneaking in like a teenager breaking curfew. And what's that smell? Gunpowder? Oh, that. Well, you see, the guys and I, uh, we were, um, playing poker and, uh... Poker? You sure you weren't out fighting crime with Mr. Incredible again? What? No, no, of course not. I mean, poker can get pretty intense, you know? Sometimes chips go flying. Things get heated. Someone might have set off a small firecracker. No biggie. Right. Firecrackers. In the middle of a poker game. Lucius, I'm not stupid. I know what you've been up to. Just stay out of trouble. And next time, don't even think about lying to me. And take a shower. You smell like a war zone. Man, I gotta work on my poker face. And where have you been? Uh, hey honey, didn't expect you to be up. I was just playing poker with Frozone and some of the guys. You know, a little harmless fun. Poker, huh? Because last I checked, poker doesn't leave you smelling like burned rubber and adrenaline. Oh, that? Yeah, uh, you know, Frozone and I were driving back, and we, uh, had a small car issue. Nothing big, just a little smoke, maybe some tire screeching. Bob, we agreed. No more superhero stunts, remember? We're supposed to be living normal lives now. I promise, Helen. No more sneaking out. I'll try to behave. You better, because next time, it's more than just a warning. Who's texting you this late? Oh, uh, probably a wrong number or something. I'll just check it real quick. Yo, Bob, what's up? You ready for tonight's mission, man? There's a bank heist downtown. Perfect chance for a little action. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Just give me a bit. Gotta wait for the wife to go to bed. You know how it is. All right, just don't let her catch you sneaking out again. She's scary when she's mad. Tell me about it. I'll meet you in an hour. So, who was it? Oh, wrong number. Nothing important. You know it's getting kind of late. What do you say we head to bed early tonight? Bed early, huh? You never want to go to bed early. Well, maybe I'm just trying to turn over a new leaf. You know, be more responsible. Right. Responsible, sure. Just a quick mission. No big deal. In and out. Hope she doesn't hear the engine. Where does he think he's going at this hour? Lucius, you better not be getting into trouble again. Still got it. Man, I thought I was busted for sure. But nope, slipped right out. Smooth as ice. You've still got those moves. We're clear for now. But seriously, why has it been so quiet? Yeah, weird. Maybe it's our lucky night? No trouble in the city for once? Oh no. You seriously thought I wouldn't notice you sneaking out? What are you two up to this time? Babe, it's not what you think. Oh, it's exactly what I think. Sneaking out in the middle of the night? Again? You think you can just run around playing superhero without telling me? I wasn't... I mean, we were just checking the police scanner, you know? Seeing if there was any trouble. Yeah, because that always ends well. What were you gonna do? Chase some bad guy and hope you'd get home before I noticed? I just... I didn't want to wake you. Well, you woke me now, and I'm telling Elastigirl. She's going to love hearing about this. Uh, maybe we could 
keep this between us? Just, you know, not drag Helen into it. Oh, she's definitely going to hear about this. Both of you are acting like teenagers sneaking out past curfew. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Good. Now get home before I lose any more sleep over your nonsense. I still can't believe we got caught. I mean, we faced supervillains, saved the world, but sneaking out, that's what trips us up. Yeah, I know, right? And you should have seen the look on Honey's face when I tried to explain it. I was like, babe, it's just a quick mission. And she hit me with that glare. Uh-huh. And what was my exact response, Lucius? You better not freeze up my night with your superhero nonsense. I was this close to sleeping on the couch. Well, you weren't exactly smooth either, Bob. Sneaking in at 2 a.m. Really? You're a giant. Stealth isn't your strong suit. I thought I was quiet. You? Quiet? Please. You two together are like a wrecking ball. Here's to keeping it low-key, even if we're terrible at it. To staying out of trouble for at least a week. I think the odds are better if we just chain you two to the couch. All right, time to head out before we get any bright ideas. Yeah, we don't need another oops. I accidentally saved the city tonight. The problem isn't defeating them, it's dividing them. Together, Frozone and Mr. Incredible are inconveniently powerful. What about setting a fire trap? Make it seem like Frozone's power short-circuited and caused an explosion. Let them turn on each other. They'd figure it out before the flames even ignited. You insult my intelligence, Mysterio. Okay, okay. How about framing Mr. Incredible for something? Like a public disaster? He's too dense to fall for that. Besides, the public loves him. I need something that strikes at the heart. The family. Then what do we use? We need something personal, something they won't see coming. Perhaps this will help. Now that is clever. Who says I can't play the domestic card? You could slip right into their lives. So a little distrust between Frozone and Mr. Incredible. Mystique, you will use this form, but you won't just infiltrate. You'll seduce Mr. Incredible and turn him against the others. And once he's theirs no more, the rest will crumble. Frozone's birthday? Why would Honey need me for that? And why the secrecy? Bob, thanks for coming on such short notice. Of course, honey. Anything for you. But why the secrecy? Couldn't Frozone help with his own birthday plans? Oh, you know how he is. He'd want to control everything. I wanted it to be a surprise. And besides, I trust your judgment, Bob. All right, fair enough. So what's the plan? Hmm. What's that smell? Just a little something to make the evening more magical. Honey, I I don't know what it is, but you look incredible tonight. I've never noticed before, but I, I think I've always loved you. Well, Bob, if that's how you feel, then we should keep this our little secret, right? No need to tell anyone, not even Frozone. I won't tell anyone. It'll just be us, honey. You and me. Forever. Good. Now, we just need to take care of a few more things. Let's start by getting rid of those who might stand in our way, don't you think? Anything for you.
Who could that be this late? Maybe it's one of your poker buddies stopping by unannounced again. Frozone, my man. Mind if I come in for a bit? Uh, sure, Bob. What's up? Honey, you're looking absolutely stunning tonight. Uh, thanks, Bob. You feeling okay? Yeah, Bob. What's with the surprise visit? You seem... off. I just couldn't stay away, honey. I had to see you. I've been thinking about you all night. Okay. Bob, I think you need to get some rest. You're acting a little weird. Weird? I don't think so. I've just realized something I should have said a long time ago. Okay, Bob. Time to go. You're acting real strange, and I don't know what's gotten into you, but this isn't cool. You're right, Lucius. I should go. For now. What the heck was that? Bob's never acted like that before. I have no idea. That was really weird, right? Dinner's ready, Bob. You've been quiet all evening. Everything okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just thinking. What do you think about Honey? Honey? Lucius's wife? Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I just... She's always so, uh, graceful, right? She's got that... something. Graceful? Since when do you notice things like that? Oh, you know, just... small talk. I mean, we see them all the time. Don't you think she's got this glow? Glow? Bob, are you feeling okay? You're acting weird. No, no, I'm fine. Really. Just thinking about, uh, friends. What did you just say? Nothing. Nothing at all. You know, it's nice to get out and relax. It feels like forever since we've had time for lunch together. Yeah, you're right. Things have been so hectic lately. I'm going to run to the store and grab a few things for dinner. I'll meet you back home in an hour or so, okay? Sounds good. I'll settle the bill here and catch up with you later. Now it's time for the last part of the plan. Honey, is that you? Of course it's me, Bob. I just couldn't wait to see you again. Honey, you're so perfect. What the... Honey? Lucius, what's going on? What do you think you're doing, Bob? That's my wife. Lucius, this isn't what it looks like. Oh, really? Because it looks like you're kissing my best friend, and I don't remember signing up for that. It's complicated, Lucius. You wouldn't understand. What the hell is going on here, Bob? I... I don't know, Lucius. I thought... Honey, get back here! Bob! What the hell just happened? Lucius, I swear... I can't explain it. You better start figuring it out, man. Because right now, it looks like you just betrayed your best friend. That's game. Wow, Shaq. That was incredible. I mean, uh, you know what I mean. C can I get an autograph? Maybe, uh, hang out sometime? I'm a huge fan. Of course, man. You're Deadpool after all. Let's catch up later. Maybe grab some pizza? Sounds awesome, man! Gwen? Gwen? Snap out of it! What? Oh, uh, sorry. There's just something in my eye. Uh-huh. Sure. Just something in your eye. You okay, Gwen? Yeah, I'm fine. Totally fine. Let's just, uh, let's get some ice cream or something. Yeah. 
yeah, so after that game, I decided to get into music. DJing's been a blast. Gets me pumped just like basketball. You guys should come to one of my sets sometime. Man, that's awesome. I always thought of getting into DJing too, but you know, superhero life gets in the way. Gwen, you good? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. DJing sounds fun. You all right, Gwen Poole? You seem kind of out of it. Oh, no, I'm fine. Just tired, I guess. Long day. Well, hey, if you guys are free tomorrow night, I'm DJing at this club on the island. You should come check it out. We'd love to. Right, Gwen? Yeah, definitely. Sounds awesome. Cool. See you guys tomorrow night then. Don't be late. What's going on with you? You've been staring at Shaq like he's the last piece of pizza. What? No, it's, it's nothing. I was just appreciating his skills, basketball skills. Yeah, well, you were appreciating a little too hard. Man, can you believe we actually hung out with Shaq? I mean, the guy's a legend. And tomorrow night, we're gonna see him DJ. This is wild. Yeah, wild. You okay, Gwen? You've been acting off ever since dinner. I'm fine, Wade. Just tired. It was a long day. Well, tomorrow night's gonna be epic. Shaq's a DJ? Who knew? I still can't believe it. Shaq, so tall, so strong, amazing. Gwen? No way. So big, so powerful. What the? Wade, what was that for? You were talking in your sleep about Shaq. Minus I, I wasn't, it was just a dream. It doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything? You were going on about how big and strong he is. It's nothing. Just, I've been stressed, okay? You know, with superhero stuff, my mind's just all over the place. Yeah, well, you better not be dreaming about him tomorrow night at his DJ set. Relax, Wade. It's just a phase. I mean, who wouldn't be impressed by Shaq? He's larger than life. So last night, I met the pools. Can you believe that? The guy's a massive fan, totally starstruck. The pools? You mean like Deadpool and Gwenpool? What was that like? It was cool. Deadpool wouldn't stop asking about my career, all hyped up. But his girlfriend, Gwen, she was acting kind of weird. Weird? How so? I don't know, man. She just kept staring at me. Like the whole time we were hanging out, at first I thought maybe she was just impressed, but it was off. Maybe she's a fan too. I mean, come on, Shaq. You're a legend on and off the court. Can't blame her for being starstruck. Yeah, I guess, but the whole vibe was just strange. Deadpool didn't seem to notice though. Anyway, they're coming to my DJ set tonight. Should be fun. You're out here turning superheroes into groupies. Watch out, Shaq. Next thing you know, you'll have a whole squad of heroes trying to get in on your DJ mixes. Hey, I can handle the attention, but I'm not trying to get caught up in any superhero drama. Yeah, you better hope Gwenpool doesn't have a crush on you, man. That could get messy real quick. Man, I hope not. I'm just trying to spin some tracks tonight and keep it chill. No superhero love triangles for me. This is insane. Shaq's killing it up there. Yeah, totally. Gwen, you okay? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Just watching him work. He's so talented. Talented? He's spinning records, Gwen. It's not exactly rocket science. No, it's more than that. Look at him. So confident. So strong. Gwen, snap out of it. You're doing it again. What? No, I'm not. I'm just appreciating his skills. Appreciating his skills? Right. 
Hey, Shaq, that was awesome, man. You've still got it. Thanks, man. Glad you could make it. You two having a good time? Yeah, definitely. Great set. And how about you? You good? I... I'm amazing. Uh, what she means is... You were... incredible, Shaq. Uh, thanks, Gwenpool. I appreciate it. All right, Gwen. Let's not make this awkward. Uh, listen. I gotta head out. Got another gig soon. Right, of course. We don't want to hold you up. Maybe we could hang out after... Yeah, maybe another time. Nice seeing you both. Wait, where did Shaq go? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Wade, Wade, wait! You know, you're really starting to get the hang of this normal life thing. You've even got me convinced you're a handyman. It helps when you've got someone who doesn't mind broken things. Uh, that's not normal. I want to play a game. Did you think you could escape me, Edward? You failed me once. You won't get away a second time. Gee, I thought we blocked his number. This guy's persistent. This time, the game won't be so easy. I've built something special, just for you. An arena of traps that will tear you apart unless you surrender and return to me, Edward. Well, that was creepy. What do we do now? Oh, no. Don't tell me we're actually going to walk right into his trap. Again. I can't keep running from him. If I don't stop him now, he'll never leave us alone. And you won't have to do it alone. You've got me, remember? We're in this together. Thank you. Yeah, I figured. Guess I'm coming with you then. Can't let you hog all the fun. This place got a major makeover. Pretty sure that's not in the farmhouse aesthetic catalog. Dark, spooky, and definitely haunted. I don't have a choice. Well, you're not doing this alone. I've got your back, even if it's, you know, a giant death trap. Welcome, Edward. I see you brought a friend this time. How touching. But your little companion won't be able to save you from what's coming. Okay, that's new. Since when do scarecrows get weapons? Keep moving. How long do you think you can last, Edward? Your blades make you dangerous, but they also make you predictable. Don't listen to him. You're way more than predictable. You're only delaying the inevitable, Edward. The next challenge will tear you apart. You can't avoid your fate. We're not stopping. Let's show this guy what teamwork looks like. I have a bad feeling about this. Like, worse than usual. We need to stay alert. Gwen. Great. Now I'm trapped. Just what I needed today. Seriously, I need to start reading the fine print on these death trap contracts. Ah, Edward. Always so conflicted. So weak. Here's your first real test. Will you save your friend? Or will you keep what makes you unique? Your choice is simple. Remove your blades and become normal. And I'll release her. Or keep them and watch as your friend pays the price. How do I choose? My friend or freedom? Don't even think about it, Ed. You're not giving up your hands for me. I mean, have you seen what you can do with those things? Come on, Edward. You've always wanted to belong, haven't you? To be like everyone else. Now's your chance. I'm not going to change. Not for him, not for anyone. Hold still. you. Scissor hands magic. Works every time. Impressive. 
But you're only delaying the inevitable, Edward. You think kindness will save you from what's coming? Ignore him. The only thing inevitable is us getting out of here and maybe grabbing a snack. You're killing it, Ed. Well, well, well. Edward and his loyal sidekick. You've made it this far. I have to admit I'm impressed. But your little victories won't matter. Not this time. Seriously, dude? A tricycle? You trying to win the creepiest villain award? Kindness has made you weak, Edward. You could have been unstoppable. A perfect creation. But you chose to defy your purpose. Let's see if your kindness can save you now. So, what's the plan, scissor hands? These guys look a little tougher than your average scarecrow. You think you can hide behind that wall forever? You'll run out of time, Edward. And when you do, everyone on this island will fall. I'm not like you. You were made for this. You can't escape who you are. You know what this place could use? A little EMP action. What are you doing? Trust me, this is gonna be awesome. No, what have you done? Boom goes the dynamite. This isn't over, Edward. I'll be back and next time you won't be so lucky. Well, that was fun. Guy really needs to learn how to handle a loss. I let him go. Yeah, but that's what makes you better than him. You didn't have to destroy him to win. Starting to think we make a pretty awesome team. You did good, Ed. Real good. You didn't let him turn you into something you're not. I didn't need to change to be strong. Exactly. Scissor hands and all, you've got more to offer this island than Billy ever imagined. Plus, you've got me now. Pretty sweet deal, huh? So, what's next? I'm thinking maybe we take a little break from creepy barns and insane traps. Maybe, like, a beach day or something? That sounds nice. Oh, it'll be more than nice. It'll be epic. Trust me. Look at this! You've outdone yourself, Ed. I mean, who needs roses when you can have a custom metal flower? I just wanted to make you something special. They think they're untouchable. Love, happiness, pathetic. You're too sweet, Ed. Seriously, don't ever change. They'll learn what real suffering is soon enough. Let's see how strong your love really is. I bet you're blushing under all that serious Edward energy. Maybe. I guess I just... Uh, is it just me? Or do we have an uninvited guest? Someone's there. Hey, buddy. You gonna keep lurking? Or are you gonna say hi like a normal person? Oh, me. Just out for a late night stroll. Who knew the pond was so busy tonight? Right. Strolling with saw blades and spike traps? Totally normal lake activity. Why are you really here? You wouldn't understand. Try us. What's your deal? I'm tired. Tired of all the games. The traps. The killing. You two. You have something. Something I'll never have. I've spent my life making others suffer, controlling them. But in the end, I'm the one who's alone. I see what you two have, and I envy it. I want that. I want love. Wait, so you're not here to trap us in some nightmare? You just want love? I don't want to be this monster anymore. It's not too late to change. You don't have to be alone. Okay, I have a plan. I can set you up on three dates with my girlfriends, and maybe one of them will take a liking to you. So 
how did you get into puzzles? Oh, it's complicated. Lots of planning and timing. You know, making things fit perfectly. Look, I brought you flowers. No, no, not that. Is that a clock? Uh, not exactly. I can't believe this. How did I mess that up so badly? So, what do you like to do in your free time? Oh, you know, puzzles, strategy, planning ahead. Look, I brought a gift for you, not this... No, no. What the... Is that a chainsaw? He's got a chainsaw. Wait, no. It's a misunderstanding. It's not what it looks like. Come back. This isn't going well. Maybe dating isn't for me. So, uh, feel free to get comfortable. Maybe we could watch something. Sure. As long as it's not some creepy horror movie, right? Yeah. Nothing like that. I promise. What the... No, no, that's not part of the night. It wasn't supposed to do that. You call this relaxing? This is why you don't date guys with creepy doll collections. It's not my fault. It's malfunctioning. I'm out of here. This is insane. No, wait. I can explain. Why does this always happen? I should have just ordered takeout. So, three dates, three disasters. What's going on, man? Chainsaws, explosions, creepy dolls? We heard about the restaurant and the diner and the doll incident. It wasn't my fault, it was just bad timing. A series of accidents, I swear. Yeah, because a chainsaw accidentally ends up on a table. Maybe you're trying too hard. Maybe. I just don't get how normal people do it. I wanted everything to be perfect, and it wasn't. Well, I guess we can't all be romance experts. But if you're trying to impress, blowing things up probably isn't the way to go. Yeah, I figured that part out. But I do have something special planned as an apology. I wanted to show you guys I can be thoughtful too. Special? Does this involve any more surprise explosives? No, no. I promise it's safe. Just a small surprise. Come here, you'll see. This better not be another creepy doll. It's not. Just trust me. Okay, Jigsaw, what's the deal? Just try this on. I swear, it's harmless. You've got some weird hobbies, man. But all right, for you, I'll give it a shot. It worked. Jigsaw, you're everything I've ever wanted. Finally, someone I can love that will love me back. Something's wrong. Gwen, what are you doing kissing that freak? You shouldn't have come, Edward. We're happy now. Leave, before we kill you. You are always in the way, Edward. Leave, or we'll make you leave.
That insolent fool dares to attack my castle. Nice place, Doom. A little too... dramatic for my taste. You dare invade my domain? Well, you invited me last time, and things didn't go so well. Thought I'd return the favor. You're meddling with forces beyond your comprehension. Yeah, yeah. Big speeches and power threats. Heard it all before. Let's skip to the part where you fall. You are nothing but a nuisance. A mistake that needs to be corrected. See? Even the mighty Doctor Doom falls to my traps. What have you done? Well, well. If it isn't the Wicked Witch herself, come to save your metal boyfriend? You've made a grave mistake, little puppet. Oh, come on. It's all in good fun. Nothing personal. You thought you could challenge the Master of Dark Magic? Disrupt my peace? Harm the one I care about? Look, I was just... Wait, okay, okay. Maybe I went a little overboard, but... Silence. You dared to lay your traps in my domain. To harm those under my protection. For that, you will pay dearly. From the darkest shadows and the depths of cursed realms, I summon thee. Heed my call and emerge from the void. By the power of this cursed island and the Blood Moon's blessing, reveal yourself. What is the meaning of this? Who dares summon me? I, I am Doctor Doom, ruler of this island, and I require your assistance. Assistance? You risked summoning me. For help? I am not some simple servant at your disposal. There is a threat to my rule. A fool named Billy is trying to establish himself as the island's most feared villain. I cannot allow this. Disrespect to go unchallenged. And why should I care about the affairs of petty villains? Because you understand the power of fear and the beauty of control. Together, we could reclaim this island and restore order. Of course, there's no need to rush. Perhaps you'd join me for dinner first? Dinner, you say? Very well, Doom. But you'll have to make it worth my time. You mentioned a threat. This puppet, Billy. What do you intend to do about him? Billy is an upstart, an amateur, but he's gathering followers and his traps are causing chaos. We need to crush his rebellion before it spreads. You called me here to help with a nuisance? He's more than a nuisance. He's a threat to everything I've built, but that can wait. Tonight, I wanted to enjoy your company. Well, Doom. You're certainly not what I expected. Perhaps this evening won't be as dull as I feared. I assure you it won't be. Some people have no respect for a pleasant evening. Do you make a habit of disrupting my evenings? I see you've handled the situation elegantly. Sleeping Beauty over here was starting to bore me. Shall I drive you home then? You're quite the gentleman, Doom. Stupid sorceress, thinking she's better than me. And that metal-faced fool, walking around like he's untouchable. I won't let them get away with making me look like a joke. Be careful. 
She's stronger than you think. You don't get it. They think they're in control, but they're not. I'm going to show them what happens when you humiliate me. We'll hit them where it hurts. An all-out assault on the castle. We'll tear it down brick by brick. This will not end well. Oh, come on. You were all about this stuff before. What? You're getting soft now. Fine. I'll do it myself. This time, they'll see just how dangerous I can be. Night, night, sleeping beauty. This island won't forget my name. Did you hear that? It's probably just the wind. Or one of those creepy statues Doom's got all over the place. Insolent fool dares to attack my castle. Nice place, Doom. A little too dramatic for my taste. You dare invade my domain? Well, you invited me last time, and things didn't go so well. Thought I'd return the favor. You're meddling with forces beyond your comprehension. Yeah, yeah. Big speeches and power threats. Heard it all before. Let's skip to the part where you fall. You are nothing but a nuisance. A mistake that needs to be corrected. See? Even the mighty Doctor Doom falls to my traps. What have you done? Well, well. If it isn't the Wicked Witch herself, come to save your metal boyfriend? You've made a grave mistake, little puppet. Oh, come on. It's all in good fun. Nothing personal. You thought you could challenge the Master of Dark Magic? Disrupt my peace? Harm the one I care about? Look, I was just... Wait, okay, okay. Maybe I went a little overboard, but... Silence. You dared to lay your traps in my domain. To harm those under my protection. For that, you will pay dearly. You... saved me. Consider it a favor returned. You didn't have to help me. But you did. Power is nothing without purpose. And you are not without purpose, Doom. Perhaps we could work together to restore order to this chaotic island, to rule it with the strength and vision it desperately needs. And what of this infatuation you have? Is this partnership truly for the island's sake or for your own? I... I assure you my intentions are entirely strategic. Perhaps. But power without allies is a lonely path, Doom. Remember that. Together we can be unstoppable. Your Highness, there are reports of increased attacks across the island. Billy's forces are rallying. It seems he's determined to keep causing chaos. Billy will regret testing us again. His time on this island is over. Then let's finish what he started. Seriously, Mom, how do you even watch these? No one like that could really exist. Oh, come on. You'd be running and screaming the minute you saw a chainsaw. Please, I'd probably just... What was that? Knock! Knock! Mom, what is that? No more running! Go! 
Go, run, and hide. Peekaboo, found you. Please just go away, don't hurt us. You monster, you killed my daughter. No one can hear you. Hello, Spider-Woman. Tonight, you'll choose freedom or sacrifice. The choice is yours. Tick-tock. Time's running out. What? Who are you? I'm the one who plays games with you. Hey, I'm the one running this show. I decide who lives or... Now it's my turn to have fun. You don't understand. I'm giving them a choice. But you don't have a choice. You must die. What are you? Run, little girl, before I change my mind about you. I smell you. Do you now? Come closer, little lamb. You think that toy can hurt me? So slow. You'll pay for that. Time to cut you up. What's your plan, big guy? Lost little lamb. Who said that? Show your ugly face. You don't belong here. This is my farm now. Are you scared? You should be. No one or no thing scares me. I'll saw you up like all the rest. You're only human. What can you do? Show yourself and you'll find out. You're nothing but a monster. This is my domain. You can't touch me. I can do more than that. Are you really that foolish? Stop. You're ruining. No more ghosts. Wow. Is this your idea of home decor? Creepy chic. Your jokes won't save you, silly girl. Now we've reached the classic slasher ending. Abandoned house, creepy masks, and a big scary guy with mommy issues. Eight out of ten for accuracy. You will be quiet soon enough. Let me guess. This is the part where you say something cryptic like, you can't escape, or game over. You won't be cracking more jokes very soon. Or, you could let me go. And I won't tell anyone about this lovely family reunion. I will hunt them all. Uh, Gwen, I don't like this. Relax. There's probably just some old dude who fell asleep watching reruns of the Golden Girls. Hello, ladies. Do you want to play a game? Gwen, this is not a joke. Play a game? What is this? 
2005? You seriously need a new catchphrase. You shouldn't have come here. Okay, that's a little creepy. Run. You go left. I'll go right. No, Gwen! Wait! No. No. Weak. Unworthy. Not what we were looking for. Another presence. Hiding. We know you're out there. Come out, little morsel. I need to stay calm. We just want to talk. We don't bite. Well, not too hard. It'll be quick, I promise. Come on, think. Think. Are you hiding? I can't let that monster find me. Come on out. I just want to talk. Hiding won't help. We can smell your fear. Found you. Don't fight it. Embrace it. What? What's happening to me? You're becoming something extraordinary. How does it feel, sister? It's... powerful. This power is our bond. Together, we're unstoppable. It's like I'm not even myself anymore. I'm something more. You're not just Gwen anymore. You're She-Venom, and with our powers combined, the island will tremble before us. And what do we do now? We blend in, use our human forms as disguises, lure them in, make them trust us, then strike. We're going to have so much fun. Gwen? But who's the guy with her? I thought she was with Spider-Man. Seems like you've got quite the reputation. Does Spider-Man know you're seeing other people? Jealous already? It's cute. They're starting to wonder if you've upgraded. Hey, Gwen. Who's your friend? Oh, this is Eddie. Eddie? He looks a bit evil. You really shouldn't judge people so quickly. It's just, this isn't you. Gwen, can we talk for a minute? Sure, what's up? This Eddie guy. He's not exactly... You got something to say? I... I just think maybe he's a bit... Too scary? Too scary? Come on, you sound like my mom. Look, Gwen. You know this isn't right. Not... Another... Word. You really should have kept your nose out of this. Gwen? You wanted to talk. Let's talk. Now they all know. Help! Somebody, please! No, 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 stay away! Where are you? Please? I don't... What's wrong, little Wolverine? Lost your way? I, I can help you. Just don't... Help me? Oh, sweet little Peel. I don't need help. I need to feed. You seem quiet. Regretting the new life already. No. Just thinking about how different it all feels now. Well, you're no longer the hero. Not anymore. What happens next? This is our domain now. No more hiding in the shadows. 
No more letting Spider-Man control everything. It's about time the island met its new rulers. You were changed for a reason, Gwen. This is all part of something bigger. Something Spider-Man can never understand. An act of revenge, right? The ultimate payback. <laughs>